Hello, hi, welcome to the video. Firstly, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched last week's video, leaving nice comments, and then checking out the stickers afterwards. That was amazing. I uh, have been super busy, you know, doing all the stickers, but um, I was stuck in my house for the entirety of this last week because uh, I live in Yeehaw land and uh, we had to deal with the Texas winter storm. And for those of you who don't live uh, around here, we don't get snow, we, <laughs> we get ice and that is very dangerous. So um, yeah, I did not leave the house until it was safe to go outside again. So uh, this next week, I'm gonna go print out even more stickers because I need more. And uh, I'm gonna ship them off in the post office and everyone who ordered, you should receive like tracking numbers and all that stuff. Uh, in your Kofi DMs. So yeah, I just wanted to say thanks because the support was was really nice and I, I appreciate it a lot. It was it was so fun. I love making those stickers a lot. They're very cute. So in this week's video, it's gonna be sort of um, like an art vlog kind of where you know sketching for those orders because I told you guys that by February. 10th 2023 i will do any word girl sketch that you want basically <laughs> any word girl doodle so if you want to order uh some stickers i can include those for you that'll be epic Oh, you see this? Okay, this jam, it's not available anywhere that I'm looking and I can't find it online. So if you, if you know where to get it, uh, please tell me. We're using the Paul Rubens watercolors. I don't remember how much I paid for them. I think they were maybe like $35, $40. And I got them, uh, I wanna say 2019. I wanna say 2019. And we're using these Princeton Neptune uh, travel brushes. I really like them. The Prince Neptunes have been recommended by um, some artists I really, really like here on YouTube. So uh, yeah, I'm swatching out these colors so I don't make any mistakes. And uh, I, I'm just kind of going crazy because I can make mistakes here. This is, <laughs> this is where I experiment and I'm like, okay, what can I do? So I've been, uh, for a long, long time, I've been super inspired by uh, art of little shops like this. And I'll leave a couple of artists that I really, really like that do art like this, because I'm, I'm so inspired. I, I want to do more of these in the future. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. We're reimagining the cafe sandwich shop from the King Chuck episode that we talked about last week. And it's been so long since I've used watercolors like this. And I I miss it so much. I, I took an art class in early 2020. And uh, you know, we went on spring break and then we never went back. <laughs> so I was saving all of my art classes for that semester. So that's how long it's been. <laughs> and then I had to do other university things. It was very sad. So now I'm getting back into watercolors and I'm very excited. So since this was um, like a practice kind of round, I guess, I'm using the Paul Rubens. Paul Rubens are always my warm up ones, but I also have um, some confection, confectioners ones of different color palettes that I really like. I think they're very creamy and good. And then uh, I have some Schminka paints, which are the best. It's like painting with butter, if that makes sense. They're, they're so good. I love them a lot. But I didn't want to waste them in case I did a really bad job. <laughs> but I did not do a bad job, so that's okay. Maybe next time in the next uh, art painting video. So yeah, a lot of this was figuring out like, oh, I can layer the colors, that's right. And uh, because it was the Texas winter storm while I was doing this, 
it was really cold so the paints weren't drying as fast so at the top it was really annoying but at the bottom where those tiles are i was like wait a second there's a there's a technique here i can use that <laughs> So that's what I did, and I, I ended up really, really liking it. But yeah, this was a, this was a really good break in between the video essay. So I think I'm going to start doing these because I want to get back into making prints and stickers because I did for a little bit, um, like in 2018 to, to 2019, 2020, and then I had school and then I had work and it was like, uh, I couldn't fit it in. Uh, but now I'm graduated and I can do things now. So I, I think I'm going to do these like in between. I think that'll help me stay sane because... Uh, my brain works like I go through cycles of what I care about, which is great because I have so many hobbies are uh, like bookbinding. Like I really want to make, um, oh, what's the, it's Steven Boxleitner's book. I just completely forgot the name, but his book, I want to either make it into a sketchbook or something or, um, or print out a story in it. So yeah, bookbinding is very cool. Uh, I also have a, a kit to make watercolors myself, which sounds really cool. And then I have like acrylic paints. I have uh, gouache, like that Maya Himi gouache that went viral a couple years ago. Have some of that. I want to use it eventually, but I was kind of scared. So I stuck with watercolors. Oh, and with this, I was, uh, I decided, I've never done this before, but, um, Usually I go with like with the watercolor outline, but I was worried it would be too thick. So um, what I did afterward, painting it and waiting for it to dry. With the color pencil, I went around because uh, something I remember some like an artist I really, really like saying about watercolor is that uh, contrast is very important. So I thought maybe the color pencils could help and they did. They helped a lot. And uh, what I did is I went over with one color where I wanted like a bold color and it was kind of like patchy, I guess, because I wasn't pressing down hard enough. And then I went back with like a lighter color to kind of blend it all together and it works perfectly. That's a really good technique. So if you see me going around with like the yellow or whatever, that's that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just blending it in so it doesn't look as patchy. Oh yeah, and testing the, the colors, that's good too. I think uh, next time I'm probably going to do a bigger uh, painting, perhaps. The only reason I did it small is so that it could fit in an envelope to ship out, which you'll see later on in the packaging area of this video. Yeah, look at those, look at those tiles. I love when stuff looks lived in, like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it really looks like not too stale and uh, unnatural. It, it looks very, it looks very lived in. I think that's very nice. And uh, all the materials I'm using for this video, I'm gonna list them in, in the description in case you're interested. So now there's gonna be some sound between me and my sister and she said I could post it, so it's okay. So yeah, you can take a listen to the random conversation me and my sister had.
You want to come see? Stop eating my stickers. Is this the new one? Yeah. You want to come see? Look. I just did this. I'm kind of scared. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Is that your view? No, it is a gift. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Thank you. She got my little cat in your video. Very play on screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> you know who this is going to? Oh, okay. Yes. She already told me. Stop breaking my stuff. It ain't breaking. This is taking new flavor. Yummy. Look how epic this looks. <laughs> Look at this. You know what I did? Hmm. I did watercolor yeah. and color pencils. Hello again. It's me. Post editing, Sarah. <laughs> So yeah, it's all done. We took the paint off, or the, the tape off. It's looking good. And we got a Tombow pen. I love sketching in this pen. I find that I can't, like I'm having a really hard time sketching with pencil, but sketching with the Tombow pens, so nice. Look at that. Cause I can go in light and then go in dark afterwards. I think I'm gonna get some more soon. Cause I think I've had these for like, I wanna say three or four years. So these sketches are for the orders. So if you place an order before February 10th, 2023 and DM me on Kofi, you can request a word girl doodle. And they're gonna be like this. They're gonna be very, uh, they're gonna be a little messy, but they're gonna be very cute. And the fun thing is I had never drawn a lot of these characters and it was like, it was a really fun practice. Ooh, and there's a Mezo favoritism. And here's some more ASMR for you, if you like scrapbooking ASMR. So I recorded these probably uh, a couple days ago. So uh, the day that you're seeing this video, not all of them are there because some of them came in afterwards, but they'll still be in your order, no worries. And uh, if someone forgets or doesn't pick one for whatever reason, I'll include, you know, a default Becky doodle. In fact, no one has requested Becky, so uh, I have a, another doodle that ended up being a painting. The first person to request Becky in their order can have the painting, <laughs> and you'll see it in a little bit. Amazo favoritism. Can you guys tell I love him the most? He's my favorite. Ah, look at all those. They're so cute. Oh, the little kitten. Look at those little guys. Yeah, I really like doing the doodle thing. I might do them for each video or whatever. And this is the Becky doodle I was talking about. This was supposed to be a warm up, but you know how warm ups go you use your bad paper and they end up being the most beautiful thing you've ever created and so um when i was sketching i was like wow this is actually turning out really good and i was like am i i'm not recording because i wasn't recording because it was a warm-up 
So, so I, uh, once I was like, okay, this is actually going somewhere, then I turned on the camera. And because this, uh, this is my sketchbook, so only like super rough and messy doodles go in here. Um, it's not made to hold like a lot of watercolor. So I completely forgot that when uh, I was done sketching, I was like, wow, this could be one of the, the doodles or something. I don't know. And then I started painting it and then the paper started warping and I was like, that's right. That's what happens. I think I painted this, like I drew this and painted this before the um, sandwich shop doodle. So <laughs> this was, it was really just supposed to be a warm up. So here are my shipping supplies. I got my baggies and uh, these mailer things so your stickers don't get messed up. And my pink stuff. I'm pink and that's pink. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, but throughout the video I'm wearing um, my blanket dress. Oh yeah, favoritism Steven. And my princess stationery. Because we're gonna write a very nice note. And all my washi tape. It's very, very cute. Cute collection. So yeah, I've been wearing my blanket dress the entire video because um, it was negative, or not negative, it felt negative. It was 25 degrees Fahrenheit, and I, I don't know what it is in Celsius, but uh, I think it's like, I want to say negative two, but I don't know. So, uh, I'm not gonna... <laughs> You can pause to read who this is going to, but um, if you're in the Word Girl Discord server or you follow me on Instagram or whatever, uh, you'll, <laughs> you'll know who this is going to. And here are all the stickers. And there's uh, that bonus one that, I was, uh, that I'm including in all the orders. So on the happy mail day, uh, I like to write personal notes, but I'm not gonna show them because I don't wanna show who the customers are. <laughs> I don't wanna show you guys his name just in case, privacy and all that. Uh, so all of you guys are, get are getting different washi tape. And uh, yes, the washi tape choices are based on vibes because I know a lot of you guys who ordered. <laughs> so like whatever fits your vibe, that's what I'm choosing. So yeah, there's the doodle, the stickers, the bonus sticker and my business card. And it's going in the pink paper because I love pink. One day when I do a, like an office tour, I'll show you guys all the pink stuff I have. And that's my PO box. If you guys ever wanna send stuff, uh, yeah, you can DM me as well. Like, just tell me if you're gonna send something. Cause one time somebody sent something ginormous and uh, my P.O. box is really small, so they held it for like a couple weeks or something, but then they sent it back and I never found out what it was. And it keeps me up at night. I really want to know what it was. Uh, so yeah, it'll be very cool to see things there. But also, it is a return address. <laughs> I am so happy about these stickers. My Cricut like just didn't want to work during this week and uh, I ran out of ink at home to because like, I needed to print uh, a new calibration sheet to recalibrate it and uh, ran out of ink and then couldn't go anywhere because there's ice on the road and there was sirens all the time so uh, now this week I'm going to be able to go and I'm going to be able to uh, print more stickers but I think I'm just going to continue to hand cut these and then hopefully the next time uh, I can use the Cricut properly I think that'll be good Maybe I'll show you guys some footage of that. It is very mesmerizing. I used to have a video, I think. No, I still do have a video, it's up. I privated it and then I unprivated it because I was like, I should not be embarrassed. Old me was precious, so it's back up. Oh, and then this one, this one is going to that person that I didn't say the name. But if you know, you know. If you don't, um, you can pick in your mind who it is. But yeah, I want to say thanks again if you um, ordered something from my shop. It really means so, so much. And I'm so excited to send these to you guys because there's, <laughs> there's so little Word Girl merch out there, especially like themed Word Girl merch. And uh, yeah, it was, it was so fun to create these. And uh, I hope you guys have a lot of fun sticking them on sketchbooks, you know, wherever you want, your phone case, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching and thank you to these very lovely supporters over on Ko-fi. If you'd like to be credited in future videos, 
consider becoming a supporter for only a dollar each month. Okay, I love you, bye!